I'm Judith Monroe and this is my studio and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your cell phone to take a picture of your art that you could um, show online submit in a pinch to a show that kind of thing so the first thing I want to talk to you about is that if you have a piece of artwork that is under glass um, in a frame, you're going to want to take that out of the frame. You can see as I move this that we can actually see me in the reflection there. And that's not something that you're going to want to have to deal with. You're going to not be successful. So it's way easier just to take the frame apart. Um, even if it's taped up like this, if I wanted to, to submit this or copy this, I would really just have to take this frame apart and take this um, out of the frame. Um, if you have a piece of artwork like this, this is um, a mixed media acrylic on a wood panel. You can see this is a wood panel. Um, or if it's on canvas, then it's not going to be as difficult. Um, so something that's not behind glass, not in a frame, even if you have to take it apart, that's our first thing. And then the next thing that we're gonna look at here is we're gonna look at the lighting. So if you look carefully here, you can see that it's lighter over here than it is over here. And that's not gonna be a really good thing because that means this side is gonna be brighter than this and it's not gonna be accurate. So I wanna make sure that I'm going to find a place that has even lighting. Um, so in my studio here, you can see the mess that it is. Um, if I actually walked over here, look, I even have a computer stand. How handy. Um, <laughs> then I've got a much more even lighting. It's still not perfect. It's still a little darker on this side than on this side. So I'm really going to have to just kind of move around and find a place um, that's got even lighting. You'll also see that um, I have lights up here, but I haven't turned them on um, because the color of the light is going to make a big difference. So I'm gonna choose some place that I have that natural light coming in through the windows to serve um, as a, as a light source. It also means that I don't have any shadows from the lights that are overhead. So like right now I can hold my phone over the top of this image here and I can take a photograph without being too concerned about shadows. So now I've set up another table in my studio because, you know, I, I need more tables. Um, but I set it up in front of that window to give myself some more even light. So now we can see that side to side, and I'm going to step on a stool here so I can look down, um, it looks a lot more even. And then when I'm framing this with my um, camera, I'm going to be sensitive about how I'm moving my phone because I'm looking at these top edges, like this edge here and this edge here, um, especially I want those to be parallel to the edges of my phone. And so I would hold still and I would probably take the photograph about now, giving myself just a little bit of space um, and making sure that I'm not tilting or tilting this way um, because I want that to be as even as possible. The way um, I would achieve that is by actually holding my phone, like this one here, parallel to the piece of artwork. So actually holding it parallel is how I'm gonna get that nice, even, straight, um, square, uh, artwork inside the frame of the camera. So once I've taken my photograph, I have a chance actually to do um, some editing inside um, 
editing in my phone as well. So I have an iPhone, but I know that um, Androids have some the, some of the same basic editing tools. So um, I've got this, and if I click here, I can see I've still got some of that table behind it on the outside of it, and I wanna definitely crop that out. Um, I'm gonna show you also while I'm in um, the editor, so I just tap the editor. Um, I can also, if I wasn't perfectly good about getting it straight, I can do some straightening. That, so that was my camera, I hit the little straighten, and it kind of lined things up a little bit better for me. Um, and most of the time that works, but then I also have some other options. So here um, I can actually change, like if I wasn't perfectly good about all of that, um, I'm gonna put it back on zero because I don't really want it to change. It's interesting, it's kind of, um, come back here, um, done some cropping on its own. Um, so I'm looking at the edges here and it's actually seems to be um, pretty intuitive as far as what it's doing. It's trying to find the edges, but I just wanna show you, I can change um, the bottom and the top as well, and I can zero it out. Um, I feel like it's come in a little more than I want. So I'm gonna just check my little edges there, and I'm gonna pull this edge in a little bit more and um, I'm also kind of, when I'm looking at this, I'm making sure that the tonal values, how light or dark it is, is as accurate as it can be. And so like this feels like it's um, maybe a touch darker. And so, um, wrong one. <laughs> Um, my plus or minus. So like I'm gonna just lighten it up just a little bit but I want to be careful I'm not losing details like in this area here. So usually our phone's automatic. Um, if we've got kind of a overall balanced like uh, the fact that it's kind of like half light and half dark for this particular image makes it pretty easy. Um, for the camera's automatic adjustments to work, but you can kind of compare, look at the um, image that you have on your screen and um, in front of you. And then I just click done. And um, now this is a pretty good reproduction of um, the artwork. So if I wanted to submit it for an online art show or even just sharing it on Facebook, this is just so much better than, um, you know, kind of a sloppy, crooked sort of a thing could be. I hope that helped you um, with a couple of tips for how to copy your artwork to share or submit a little bit easier. By the way, um, I'll just let you know that this artwork is titled um, Reject Either Or, and it is one of my original artworks. And if you like it, drop me a message and I could tell you how you could make it your own. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, like, do all those cool things to help me out. Thanks.